Hi parents, I wanted to make a super quick tutorial about this new program for all IEP related things. Obviously if we're doing a IEP meeting virtually, we can't all sign the same form. So Orange Unified is using this company called Informed K-12 that basically allows us to send out the forms and then have each participant sign it. Warning, it does take a little while because on our end, as a teacher, you have to send it to each participant. And when they send it back, you have to send it to the next one. And the last people we send it to is the parents so that it's all complete when you get it. But I'm just gonna show you real quick what that looks like. So you're gonna get an email that says like, hi, Sabrina Mercer would like to um, send this thing to you. This says my name because I sent it to myself as an example. But basically you're just gonna click view your form. And then this lovely thing will pop up. And then um, in here I just wrote test, but the student's name will be there and the IEP date and what have you. And basically you just need to click the box and then this other thing will pop up and you're gonna write your name, parent name under the parent signature. And then you just click add signature. Then the student's name you wanna have whoever did it type in their name, student name. And we're working with adults and then you'll see that my name will be on there and then also whatever participants are part of the meeting including the principal will all be on there this top part is just the participation page and then at the bottom is where you're saying whether you consent or not the same things that you would normally check on the IEP you have options as drop down menus and then you click here and this is where it's a little tricky. I've emailed the company because I would like to have the option for both you and um, your son or daughter to sign. I think I can just resend it to you again. But for instance, if your son or daughter is not conserved, they hold their educational rights. So they have to sign their IEP. Um, if they are conserved, then you can sign it and it's no big deal. But if they're not, conserved. I would really like to have both the student signature and the parent signature, just saying that like we're all in agreement. Um, but the same process, you type in here, parent or student name, depending on the situation, and then you click add signature and it'll type it in. Oh, I forgot to mention, you need to write the date for all of these. And you just want to do it on whatever day we held the IEP. You might not get it until after that because it takes so long to send it to one participant and then the next, but you wanna make sure you date it on the date of the IEP. Voila, and then um, you're gonna choose here, whichever of these that apply, and then you're gonna click, I have reviewed this form. And then you wanna click send to the next approver. Are you ready to submit? Already completed by, and you just say yes. Then what you wanna do is send it back to me. Um, and then, so my name, you're going to type up here, Sabrina Mercer. And then my email address is up here. So you can literally just copy paste it onto here and confirm it here. That's all you have to do. Again, my email address will be up here. And then you just send, send this to recipient. Boom. It'll send it back to me. And then from my end, I can print it and then put it with the entire IEP, number the IEP, scan the IEP, and then I'll be able to send you the final copy and send the final copy to Regional Center. Um, the same format applies for the invitation page that I'll send out and the excusal since we can't have a gen ed teacher at our IEP meetings, but they all come in in separate emails to sign because that's how the program works. If you have any questions, please, let me know. Thanks.